Hey guys, it's Mohammed here, long time no see. I'm finally back with another video. So if you're new here, I make videos on how you can do well on your online exams, more like how you can cheat on your online exams. But anyways, it would be amazing if you guys could check out this video right here. I did make one in the past called how to cheat on your online proctored exam and that video got so much feedback. It's actually unbelievable. I think it's at like over 135,000 views last time I saw it and that's insane, especially considering how small my channel is. And not only that, I am happy to announce that my channel has reached over a thousand subscribers. So guys, thank you so much for that. Honestly, it means the world to me. Also in the future, I will be making a how I got a thousand subscribers plus four thousand hours watch time video so if you are interested in that please subscribe as well okay so guys I've been doing a lot of research based on the comments th that you left on my last video which were so many I've been trying to answer a lot and and honestly I have learned a lot there are a lot of proctoring online exams out there there's proctor u proctorio proctor track there is exam soft there's respondus there's honor lock which was the one that i talked about in that video so basically there's a lot but in today's video i'm going to be answering this question can ai softwares detect the use of mobile phones and if you watch my last video i did say that the ai softwares can detect your mobile phone usage but I never said why, but I did say that they can via Wi-Fi because they would somehow track your IP address. It turns out some people were saying that they couldn't because that would be totally illegal and that there really was no thing online that truly verified that and I tried to look and I could not find anything. It was just going by off of the claim that was made by the AI software. So it does seem to be illegal. And then some people also said that that is a scare tactic that they use. So like students cannot cheat while doing their exam and that does make sense. So I really could not find anything online to verify that claim. And then also one of the ways that they did it according to the AI, to the AI softwares was that they would set up this fake mobile hotspot and and then once you would also connect to that they would see that your phone was actually um, one of the second sources that we're using during your exam. So that's something that I did not explain in my previous video so I totally apologize. I know a lot of people were like asking that question and and honestly it's a really good question. I've just gotten so many questions lately and and honestly it's just quite insane it seems that proctor track is a little bit different though however so according to proctor track according to proctor track it says right here that proctor track proactively monitors any unauthorized use of smartphones and its mobile app can be used for a comprehensive room scan to deliver true test environment security. Wow, guys, that is pretty insane. So I've been reading about Proctor Track lately as well, and it seems like according to all of the AI softwares, Proctor Track seems to be quite at the top. I was on their website earlier today and I saw them talking about things like virtual machines which is kind of like a spoiler sort of I did want to talk about that in the future because that was another question people were like asking me again and again if they could use virtual machines and that kind of thing I still don't know exactly like the whole scoop on that but the fact that it mentioned something that was used as a highly secretive way to cheat is actually kind of shocking so so yeah, Proctor Track really does seem to be like the number one proctoring software, like the most advanced one. And another one that I found was called ExamSoft. Uh, that one also seems to be up there too. But the fact that this is even mentioning that is like kind of crazy. They were also mentioning things like screen mirroring. And if you want to know a bit more about that, I do slightly talk about it in this video right here. But it's crazy how these proctoring s softwares can really track a lot of things and the fact that there is a mobile app for proctor track is quite amazing honestly um and my friend even was using that for one of his classes and if you don't know it's basically like it will literally scan like your whole face not just what honor like does it seems to be more advanced than proctor u uh, although Proctor U tends to be a bit more invasive, that's what it seems like, e even though that I think Proctor Track is pretty invasive as well. But I mean, like, Proctor U was the one that people were like totally complaining about. I mean, they have access to your whole like screen and it's just very glitchy. If I was a professor, I would not use Proctor U at all. I would probably use Honor Lock because Honor Lock seems to be the most simple yet the most reliable one and it's not way too advanced unlike Proctor 
track and exam soft yeah so yeah guys that's all i have to say for today thank you so so much for watching today's video and i will see you guys in the next video so my next video will be probably more about proctor track or it will be like how i got a thousand sub subscribers plus plus 4,000 hours watch time uh but yeah let me know in the comments which one you would like to see first since most of my subscribers came from my online proctor exam video i am going to assume that you guys will be asking for the proctor track video first all right guys that's all i have to say for today and uh thank you so much all right bye this cereal captain crunch with the fruit pebble whatever is like literally the best cereal Could ever you so Could you try again? i don't know what's up with siri don't worry about it <laughs> all right guys see ya so before you leave i want you guys to subscribe to my channel because i will be making more videos about cheating on your exams and that kind of thing and also comment down below if you guys have any questions or if you just want me to make more videos about cheating on your exams or just education, I would love to read it. And also like this video if you learned something new. And I'll see you guys next time, alright? Bye!